What is up YouTube? Today I am making this short video showing you guys what I bought yesterday. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You see a motorcycle, you think I'm going to fix it up and uh, ride it like a motorcycle. Don't get your hopes up. Believe me, there would be nothing more. I would love nothing more than to be able to fix this up and ride it like a motorcycle. But, unfortunately, I don't have the title for this. And uh, there's so many parts that are broken or missing that by the time I put enough money to get this street legal I might as well just buy a motorcycle off of Craigslist so these things I bought them for the for the engines that's the only reason I bought them now I only paid 50 bucks for both of these this was twenty dollars and this was thirty so fifty bucks I have no idea if they run or not all I know is um, they were they've been uh, behind a shop in, in uh, they have been just sitting in a back room in a shop at uh, my friend's shop from school. He's moving. I asked him, hey, do you have any motorcycles that you wouldn't mind getting rid of? He said, yeah, I, and I stopped by and he sold me these for 50 bucks for both of them. Now, I have no idea, I know this is a dirt bike, I, I know this is a, uh, a Yamaha dirt bike. That's all I know. I have no idea of the year. I don't know the CC. Um, don't know if it runs. I know it's two stroke. And I know it's in between 100 and 200 to possibly 250 CC two stroke. So I'm really hoping that I can get this engine to run because if I do, I'm going to put this on a shifter cart. And that shifter cart will be badass. A two stroke. 100 to possibly 250 cc shifter cart. That will burn the tires off that go kart. So I'm really hoping I can get this motor to run. I'm possibly going to have to rebuild it. And uh, the rest of it, um, I have no idea how old this is. No idea the history of this. All I, all I know is uh, it's been sitting in a small, in a really dusty room. You can see a bunch of dust on this stuff everywhere. So, really dusty room in the back of the uh, small shop. So, probably not going to get it running as a dirt bike, but like I said, I just bought it for the, uh, for the engine. Now, with this one, it's a little bit better shape. Um, I don't know the year. I know it's a Suzuki 500, and I know it has. Uh, 22,000 miles and unfortunately the guy I bought it from for some reason he took the spark plugs out of the cylinders and left the spark plugs out he thought that was a good thing which is not it allowed hopefully no water got in there but it allowed dust and dirt and a bunch of shit to get in those cylinders so um I'm hoping that, I'm really hoping that these will run. If they don't run, I'm only out 50 bucks. Worst case scenario, I bring these things to the scrapyard and get 20 bucks back. I'd be out 30 bucks, so really, you know, for 50 bucks, I could not pass up that deal for an engine, a 500cc uh, Suzuki, is Suzuki? Yep, I'm saying that right. Suzuki. 500 cc motorcycle engine for 30 bucks. I could not pass that up. So if I can get it running, what I'm going to do is build another giant go kart like the green go kart, only with this engine. If this engine will run. Now the electronics and wiring is all on here. It seems to be all on here. Now the brakes are locked up. The chain's really rusty and. I'm hoping that there's no water in the cylinders because if there is I'm literally screwed and this motor may not run if there's any water that got in the cylinders. Now um, this does come with a giant gas tank that comes off and uh, you know. So um, yeah let me uh, show you guys a little bit more close up of these things. Alright, so for the dirt bike, you can see that it's mostly all here. The only things that are missing is uh, the carburetor's missing, the gear shifter 
Uh, looks like somebody rolled it and the gear shifter got caught and just, you know, bent really bad. But I think it goes into gear. If I if, right now it's hitting that bottom thing right there, so I have to pull that out and uh, rebend that to where it uh, will shift gears. Um, the chain is so badly rusted that the rear tire won't turn. There's here's a container for oil, so it's a two-stroke, but it looks like I put straight gas in the gas tank, and it automatically mixes the gas to fuel ratio. So. Hopefully that tank is not does not have a leak in it. Here's the clutch that kind of works. You can see it kind of moving. It's a, eh, not really. It's a little. It's frozen. Also, the Kickstarter is missing with this thing. So um, for some reason, every dirt bike I get is always missing the Kickstarter. So with the, I, the pl the plans I have for this are. Like I said, I want to take the engine, take it completely apart, and rebuild it from the ground up. I want to, if the cylinder is bad, get a new cylinder, or uh, if the if the piston's bad, get a new piston. If the head is in good shape, hopefully keep it. Now the spark plug was on this, so hopefully no water got into into here. But everywhere I park it, there's a little puddle of water on the ground. Also right there where I parked it last night. So. There may be water in the uh, in the gear box or whatever, but I'm hoping that nothing rusted in there, and I'm hoping that this will run. If uh, you know, worst case scenario, you know, parts aren't really that expensive for these things, so uh, you know, pretty it's pretty good deal, you know, for. A, two-stroke dirt bike engine. I think 20 bucks is pretty uh, good deal. Anyway, with this, now like I said, believe me, I would love nothing more than to be able to fix this up and ride it like a normal motorcycle. But, you know, by how much money I would have to spend on this, I might as well just go out, save myself such a headache to try and get a title for this thing that I, I should just uh, go to Craigslist and buy a motorcycle for like a thousand dollars or something. Which I've been wanting to do, but I'm broke as shit and I keep spending my money on that stuff. Anyway. Yeah, so, like I said, this thing is really dusty. There's a huge layer of dust on this. There's Spark plugs are out. It's a 500cc, like I said. The wiring seems to be all here. It's only The only thing that this thing is missing is the seat and the clutch lever. Here's the clutch cable. And, uh... Yeah, 22,000 miles, which I honestly have no idea if that's good or bad for a motorcycle. Now this thing has obviously been rolled because this handlebar is bent up, and I honestly do not know what happened here. I'm pretty sure that aluminum wouldn't bend like that. I think, like, maybe somebody heated this up and bent it like that because aluminum snaps more than it bends so I've honestly or even if this is supposed to be like that maybe it's supposed to be like that I don't know but to me it looks really weird so I have no idea what happened there and uh, like I said I'm hoping that this thing will run if it does run I'm gonna build a new giant go-kart like this one use that uh, uh bought a I bought actually 400 feet of inch and a quarter tubing from the scrapyard. It's really rusty, but that'll be the frame of the new go-kart. This will be the engine. Now I, now all I need is the tires for that go-kart. So hopefully I'm able to get this engine running and uh, hopefully everything will work. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to do anything in this video besides showing, besides show this stuff off. Um... I just wanted to get a video out showing you guys what I bought because it's going to take me a little while before I'm able to actually get to start and working on these things. I got a bunch of other projects. I'm uh, working on the uh, lifted go-kart. I'm working on the lathe and I have a couple other stuff. So it's going to take me a little while to get to these things. I'm going to get to that one first because all I got to do is take the engine out and uh, take it completely apart and figure out what's wrong with it if it uh, will even run anyway. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of uh, what I bought. And uh, thank you for watching, subscribe, and have a nice day.